but you know. Well, cheers, everyone. <laughs> cheers, ma'am. Corinth, I'm going to drop you off for Ooh. a few minutes, man. I'll put you back. Okay. What's up, Ben? You out of prison now? Hey, yeah, yeah. I spent 12 fucking days in prison for going for a walk with my daughter. Can you yeah, you shave your arm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> walk all over the back. Let me see that arm hair, Trust buddy. <laughs> I was in prison with a guy who shaved every follicle of hair on his body. I, have I know, I know a guy like that. <laughs> was his name West? Wait, was his name Wesley? <laughs> ben was his name I Wesley? Saw, I, 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 I saw that that clip with that guy Wesley. That was funny. That, that was funny. You got titties. That guy was what? <laughs> that was a funny interaction. That guy was tweaking. I, I yeah, I don't he know was what fucking crazy. Mario was, but uh, pull the testosterone. Yeah. yeah. Listen, I have something I want to say about uh, this problem. You guys must know. You have any idea what these domestic violence laws like? What they're about? I've been researching it. It's fucking crazy. Women have total power over our lives. And these laws, which were passed by Joe. Oh, Biden. wait a second, Ben. Just a yeah. couple weeks ago, all right, Andrews and evil red pill shill. They're talking about the fucking matrons who are in society. <laughs> now, suddenly, you're at the mercy of these bullshit ass laws. And now you don't think are. so, do you? Yeah, yeah. No, but, but you change the fucking by... thing, Ben. But you're not going to win by putting women down. That's not going to work. You got to get them on. We got to get them on our side. By oh yeah, down, yeah. Let's put what chairs. What kind of simply <laughs> is it? Absolutely right. No, no, no. Let me ask Josie. Josie, do you like physicality in in relationships with men? Do you like the physicality? Dude, you're asking the wrong chick right now. Oh, I don't know. Question. 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 Josie, can you decide what to have for dinner later on tonight? Would you like to travel around the world in a camper? <laughs> I think women like physicality. I think they like physicality. I don't think they mind if it's a little, little bit like an anger at times. Do you but mean like, not crazy. or like, what do you like mean? Pushing, being pushed around and pushing guys around is part of the fun of having a relationship as an adult. No? Yeah. You know, yeah. Are you like talking about in the bedroom or just period? Just in general. Period. I'm talking about period. Like how you slap people around when she forgets to look right. is big important part of human interaction now it's called violence because well i don't know i don't know what that is like violence <laughs> hi brian pushed, <laughs> pushed by someone anything like that and you go to jail for it and it doesn't even matter if the woman this is the fucking thing about it women are not considered to be able to make decisions on their own about physicality the state comes in and throws the men in jail who they deem as the like aggressor because yeah, but it's the evil red pill man. women are seen the evil well, red pill is stupid, Look, it's fighting for men's <laughs> rights are stupid i don't think women are stupid no I, you said the red pill was stupid and they're out there fighting for men's rights so that shit didn't happen like what happened to you bro Damn. They're not fighting for men's rights. When, when they the are, dude, they're they're trying to repeal those domestic laws. violence laws. I can show you group after group that is. But see, I don't think you should argue it for men's rights. It's actually women and children that lose when men are taken out of the home. Men that would be don't... men's rights then because the patriarchy is what keeps this shit together. You know this. This is part of your faith too. I understand, but like what I'm saying is, you guys are here beating up this guy because he has a dick and wants to fuck, right? No, we're okay. teasing this guy. This guy, this guy, hang on, hang on, yeah. Ben. This guy's a, he's a personal friend of mine. I can yeah. fucking I can razz yeah. him if I want it's to. Fine. Yeah, if you're bantering, dude, guy, Ben, man, don't worry about me, bro. Just, dude. The thing we got problem with is these fake glasses. No, no, no. Let's be, let's be very clear. This guy, Mr. Enigmatic, over here, he like sent me all these like worried, concerned things that I'm abusive of my daughter, who's an adult. No, I didn't. Who runs around on the internet. Who Mr. Enigmatic never bro, said that, dude. We, we see some bro, ben, ben, we talked. Bro, yeah, okay, Ben, yeah, we've talked once, and it was like two years ago. So what are right, you talking okay, about? Your thing is like the people on the right. A lot of times, especially Christian men. How do you know what my women, thing is? I've, I've never said my thing on air, dude. Like You're just talking babies, out of your ass. Little princesses that we have to protect. That's <laughs> who thinks that? Women. Ben, love ben, 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 Ben. Ben, love it. Just ben, Ben. This is the Ben makes shit up hour, okay? So, <laughs> <laughs> that's relevant. Don't fucking speculate about it's my true. thing when I've never said my thing ever. 
So just, hang on, hang on, hang on, real quick, guys. You know, <laughs> hang on, real quick, because we gotta fund, we gotta fund the stream, and we'll make sure to give some over to our good friend Grid One Motorsports. Make sure that you subscribe to his channel. Wiggy yeah, Wall. He says guys. zebra. He says zebra's all right, even if half his dad didn't raise him. <laughs> it's pretty good. Pretty good. Um, the sarcastic saint for five bucks says Josie has those crazy Stephanie McH McHammond eyes. 90 if you shave all the body and face hair you will look like a hairless chihuahua grid you are a fucking legend yeah. legend true all right so anyway so anyway back to your prattle bin go ahead <laughs> <laughs> well i see i don't think i don't think women shut up ben think... kick ben kick ben <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm teasing you ben you go ahead bro. Power trip here, bro. i'm joking ben calm down here. calm oh, down ben here. Because they're more attractive, more educated, more intelligent, and bring more interesting points to the that you can't do that here. Grid one's not your butt boy. Oh hey, uh, hey, 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 Ben, about? Ben, uh, did you get graped in prison, bro? <laughs> <laughs> did it happen? Did you drop the so? Are you still wearing your prison garb? Orange is the new black. Is <laughs> Orange is the new black. I was in a jumpsuit. I had a great time with the guys in prison. A lot of them it's are. It's a, there. You did. Yes, you did. Sure you did. Damn. 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 Just, 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 Smile. Hey, Smile. 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 Yeah, he's well, denied. Oh, go because you're all pussies. You're afraid to go to prison. I'm not afraid to go to prison. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Oh, right. Oh, man. Yeah, calm down, Wes. Wes, calm down. A real man goes to prison, Wes. A real man goes to prison. Real men go to prison. <laughs> real men shave their arms, Ben. I learned that today. Show me your Shady. fucking arm hair right now, Ben. If you're a real man, <laughs> show me your tummy. Show me your arm hair. Show right me your now. tummy. Yeah, and then show him. Yeah, your tummy. I really can't handle that stuff. Why? <laughs> it's not for you to understand. Well, think, <laughs> women don't get persuaded by debating. That's why I don't understand these shows that are like putting women down. I saying, agree with that. The people who are on the fence. In a certain right. way, it's not about the women. It's about really the audience. Really Use your fucking brain, too. Ben. Yes, they do get persuaded. Why do you think that women don't get persuaded? Well, you, well no Andrew, you say it. that the, like the number one thing that uh, Christianity is about is about sex. It is not Jesus. That's Christ. That's not what I say. You just made that up. <laughs> you say that it's not like the, like the top thing. No, no, it is way pride. Would is. Say that. Pride is pride is the number one thing. Jesus had a problem not with prostitutes. He had a problem with Pharisees, people who went around talking about what religion is and trying to stone women, which is what happens a lot on these podcasts. You're just oh like throwing rocks at women. I don't think that's a good strategy. No, don't, don't, we're going don't, to I've lose. Never seen a yeah, I'm, well, I'm so, pretty sure so okay. Well, let's engage. Rocks, well, let's engage uh, with it, Ben. Let's engage that. with the criticism. Yeah. Can we start with the first statement of "I run around and say that what Christianity is about is sex"? You say number. You say one of the main things that Christianity teaches is that sex is a really, really, uh, you know, dangerous thing. It is not. No. Sex is fun. That's not. Sex I've never. I've never even said that world. once. You just made it up. Okay, well, but, hey, but Ben, do you agree with me that sex out of wedlock and promiscuity is a dangerous thing for Christians? I, I obviously, yeah, I, I, I'm a Christian, so I think that there are dangers in sex. There are bigger dangers. In... Well, then, why why are you arguing with me on this point? You understand? Well, because... You know for sure what promiscu well, promiscuity does to people. You know that, and you know what Paul said. That. You know what Paul said about sexual sin. And yeah, it, why it is that sexual sin is more damaging than most other types because you're damaging your own flesh. Yourself, right. So it's its own yeah. punishment. So we don't need a bunch of people telling us, like guys who have anal sex with other guys, that's its own punishment. You don't need to really like have this big uh, argument with them. It's its own punishment. That's Yeah, but what about when it becomes a social contagion, Ben, which it has? Why does it become a so social contagion? Because guys like you say it just punishes itself. That's why it becomes a fucking social contagion, dumbass. Guys tell you not to be gay? No. Why would anyone want to be gay? What's no, the because the What's social the contagion, the social What's contagion, the really bro, the social What's contagion happening? starts with the malleable. That's the children. You know this. You know this. You no. know that the social contagion starts with the malleable mind, and no. the malleable mind is the child. 
children don't become gay because they're, they're in school and whatever. They become oh, gay. sure. So no, since no, the social guys oh, like you make it no, like I'll, I'll, I'll disagree with that. because you're like you're a degenerate. You're a degenerate. Oh, so let me get this right. Let me get this right. This social contagion, which has led to this drastic increase in people identify as being LGBTQ, that has nothing to do with anything. The social contagion is not dangerous, nothing to even worry about. They're just going to punish themselves. Right, Ben? Well, here's the problem. Sometimes you treat the symptoms and you miss the disease. Okay. You're right? going to leave your kids with a, are you going to leave your kids with a gay guy, Ben? Put those erections ben, inside of ben, are you going to leave your, are you going to leave your kids with a gay guy? Depending on the gay guy. Yeah, of course. course. You would? You think gay guys are dangerous intrinsically? No, they're not. Especially the ones who are... I wouldn't leave them with a guy who's like a fake heterosexual guy, like a lot of these guys on the right. Those are the scary ones. If you're just openly Those gay, are the scary ones, the straight guys. They're harmless for the most part. Everything yeah. that you're saying is is exactly opposite of what you just said a minute ago. You're saying that like, oh, well, you, you tr- you're you saying <laughs> the symptoms don't exist. You're saying you're not, you're the one trying to treat the symptoms. And we're no. saying we're going for the root, and you're saying that's the wrong way to approach it. The root is the way to approach it. You've got to affirm sexuality. You've got to affirm male sexuality. And uh, then you can, all right. Hey, of course there all are. Right. I'm, I'm going to jump in here on this one, pal. Uh, oh. No, that's that's incorrect. Oh, I, I mean, no, no, that's not how that works. Well, that's not an argument. Saying no, no is not an argument. How about an argument, dude? Well, the problem is the whole fun of one life, piece of evidence. energy. The whole fun of What's life, up, and he's talking. energy, masculine energy is what makes the world go round. Women sure. only reflect it, yeah, and nobody, it's a fun party nobody's when the men disputing are allowed that, to be men. Yeah, and that nobody's disputing it. Penises, balls, and everything that goes Bro. with it, and it gets a little. Yeah, but you're still cold, contradicting your fun. own statement. You know that there is a social contagion element to this, and you just pretend like it's going to weed itself out. It has not weeded itself out. It has grown exponentially due to propagandizing the youth. How the fuck could you ever make no. an argument that that's not true? I can show you the graphs, Ben. You know it's true. We've talked about it. You know it's true. What What are you saying? Is that like the liberal whatever, blah, 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 is going to... What I'm uh, saying is that if you look at bra- how brainwashing operates in the mainstream, and okay, you, yes. I, I'm sure that... Hang on, stop. Let me finish my point, and then you can respond to it. Sure, no How it works is that there's a there's a, a threshold. There's about 15 percent of the population which could never be brainwashed no matter what you do. They're stubborn. They fuck it. They just refuse. OK, then there's a on the other end of the spectrum. There's about 15 percent who basically will follow any trend that they see. Then everybody else kind of falls in between the spectrum. This is due to yeah. the research of MK Ultra. You would agree that's probably true. OK, I- MK Ultra was a failure. You can't brainwash people. <laughs> it was not a failure. It worked. No, it yes. doesn't work. You can't brainwash people. Well, they still work. use it today. Movie. What do you mean? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What? what? The Union, they had everything on their side. They had total and ultimate power. Ultimately, over time, people said, this is bullshit. We don't want to do it. It doesn't matter how many fucking gulags you give us. We are going to resist. We want to be Christians. And they are now. No, coming. that's not that and the opposite. Ben, you clearly are not familiar with the research because the opposite happened. What happened is most people who engaged in the program were susceptible to brainwashing, including their sexuality over time. That is what the CIA, bit, I mean, when bit. the CIA, no, not a little bit. When the CIA declassified these documents, it was stunning what we were able to glean when they were able to use psychedelics and brain probes in order to move people. Yes, Ben, it is true. I can send you the doc. What do you want? Dude, there's thousands of pages about this. There's okay. movies which have been made Andrew, about it that express Andrew. this. Now, hang on. Let me finish. The social contagion which, which exists goes after the most malleable. The most malleable are those whose brains are still developing. For you to to make this fucking insane claim that propaganda on children doesn't work. Fuck, it worked with us. It worked uh, with us when we were kids. Andrew, Andrew, what generation is now the generation that least is in favor of transgender ideology? Zoomers, the kids who have been brainwashed. No, they're the most in favor. Are you, no, but, are you, but they, no, no. No, there's no, no but. They're the most in favor. Hey, hold on, One hold on, in four. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Bro. One in Don't four Zoomers identify as being LGBTQ. One something. in four. One Don't in lie. four, Ben. 25%. One in four. 
I understand there's a lot of it out there, but there's also no, no, no. <laughs> you just said that they're the most against it. One in four identifies as being in that group. One I know, but in there's also four. a large movement against it, and and a lot of yeah from millennials, back. from millennials, not from Zoomers. Zoomers are pushing back against it because they understand. No, that it's um, they're bad. not. Crazy millennials reason. are. Yes, human no. nature. Always in the end, in the long term, it's on the side of tradition. Men are men, women are women. <laughs> Bro, Look at the Zer thing. It didn't listen. Work. The pronoun all of thing, it, it did work. work. It's Failed. still working. They still identify that generation. One in four identifies this way. It's fucking insane. There's no way you could say that's not a social contagion. Then on top of that, it is the millennials and boomers who are the most against it. The older generations are the ones who are most against it. You have this whole on chart. Hang on. You have this whole chart backwards. It's literally backwards. You're saying that the people who are the least malleable are the people gravitating towards it. My claim is no, the people who are most malleable are, and I have the evidence proving it. Where's your fucking evidence for this, Ben? I have Zoomer kids. I know they don't buy it. They don't buy it. Oh, come on, dude. You can't just be like my kids who were raised by a Catholic patriarch don't buy it. That's bullshit, Ben. They don't buy it. They see the bullshit. They see that. Oh, the I'm sorry. It, Did your two kids not buy it, Ben? By acting like a victim. Yeah. And they don't buy it. it it's true. What and does that have to do with anything? The black people victim mentality either anymore. They so, okay. It. So your neighbor's Zoomer kids do buy it. Now your argument's negated. That's not an argument, Ben. Some do, but I'm saying in the long Dude, One in four, Ben. Experience. Look, we're part of a generation that was introduced to divorce. Our generation has rejected divorce, but we don't have a better solution than a lot what, of us. Your generation's the most likely to be divorced, you fucking yes. dumb fuck. What do but you mean? But we you don't are. Boomer, but we don't buy the boomer idea that divorce is a, a salve of bad marriages. It's, yes, not mean. only. I, I've ben, never heard this much. Ben, in one human ben being. not only is your generation True. the most likely to get divorced, but you were the most likely to fall susceptible to the propaganda of why divorce needed to be no fault. On top of no. that, yes, bro, the proof is there. I don't know. How do you we're dispute? We have the Our numbers. Our generation experienced, this is what happened, Andrew, with time. Our generation experienced the bullshit that divorce is like liberating is going to make all women happy. It yeah, it. propaganda, it and it worked. <laughs> okay, Ben. We have yes. So the propaganda no. worked? So the propaganda worked on the malleable mind? Okay, ben? in the short term, Yeah, yes. that's right, Ben. In the short term, yes. In the long Dude, you term, just got no. fucking wrecked. You don't know what the fuck you're talking about. The sarcastic saint for five bucks says, why are we listening to a man who looks like a 70s porn star? Ben, the first day you land in jail, you'll be whining in someone's new boyfriend. Actually, he just came out of jail. So in Ben's defense, for whatever yeah. that's worth. Hey, guys, uh, and by the way, Ben, cold. I'm going to be as charitable as I can to you. I don't think you deserve to, to be Thank in you. jail. I talked, I you know... I, I never thought so. Um, no, John, ridiculous. John sends in five bucks. I appreciate that, John. Uh, Neo Federalist for five bucks says Jesus said, "Go and sin no more." Ben to the adulterous woman. Right, you're the worst representation of Catholicism I can imagine. Stop making up doctrine. Yeah, he said. I'm not. I'm not advocating for promiscuity. It sure I'm sounds saying, like you are. In fact, you no, even say there's no, no, no social no, contagion. No, no. No, Andrew, you talk about a hierarchy of sins, right? And you like, No, I, it's I, not I'm a hierarchy of sins. That's not what I'm talk. saying. Talk. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. All right. You you these these people I understand this Protestant thing you say like they you're saying stealing a penny is the same thing as murdering right. someone and they go, "Yeah, right. I understand what they're saying is sin is sin, but it's ridiculous to not say there's a hierarchy." Now there's also a hierarchy of uh of sin outside of that, but like sexual sins generally speaking, especially for men, it's important to say it's a problem that men have generally. Yeah, like, but the Orthodox the don't. Woman yeah, but just to clarify, Ben, the Orthodox don't don't believe it the same way that you do. We believe that sin is a sickness, that all sin will enhance the sickness. All of it will enhance the sickness. Just saying that it's it's some, something to be said about the equivocation when it comes to saying that a penny is as sucking 100 dicks last week is. Of course not. That's going to enhance the sickness. However, the sin is still right. abhorrent. So these two things are right. not incompatible. We don't believe in the hierarchy of sin like you do. Made by Jim Bob says Ben Thorpe eliminates joy. Yeah, we were having a good stream. Make it fun again, <laughs> fucking Ben. You fucked the whole thing up. It was a circle jerk of you, dude. It was boring. 
to me. It wasn't boring. It was a great time. We were all having fun. All right. Well, well, Ben. Well, Ben. What we'll do? We'll just circle. We're having fun. We'll chuck you. We'll chuck you off the panel. We'll go back to having fun. You're not interested. Your fucking arms, man. Dude, hey, first of all, first of all, I did not know he had two women on a fucking panel. 